It is the 6th of the 7th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I want to begin tonight with a video another YouTuber put out. Uh, Mystery I One is the channel I will provide a link, of course. Uh, put out a video, Heavy Trails of Smoke in the Jet Stream from Fukushima, Siberia, Tsunami Debris. Apparently Wonder Maps on the smoke uh, screen where you can track the smoke trails through the, the United States has a mystery track coming off the Pacific Ocean where it's cut off basically off the coast of California so you can't really see where it's coming from. And uh, the mystery ensues. He posted a story he found in his research uh, off the downtown Spokane uh, paper, Russian wildfire smoke invades inland northwest. This is the United States. Floating high in the sky, a plume of smoke had meteorologists at the National Weather Service office in Spokane baffled. Visible on their satellite images, the plume was seen heading north, northeast, 20 to 30,000 feet on a jet stream. They thought the smoke might have originated from the wildfires in Colorado and Wyoming, but the plume came from the Pacific Ocean. So again, we got a mystery plume of smoke. They're saying it's from the Russian wildfires. Uh, well over 100 wildfires reported in Russia right now and across Asia. So, uh, you know, if you can look into this and uh, give me a heads up, I would appreciate it. Earth Changes, SOT.net. Let me get back up to the top here. Weird cloud captures Hoosier's attention. This is out of Indianapolis. An odd-shaped cloud uh, hovering south of Indianapolis captured Hoosier's attention Wednesday evening. Uh, the cloud was spotted by thousands uh, who gathered to watch fireworks display in downtown Indianapolis. And uh, many from the local TV station and surrounding counties all saw this lone thunderstorm cell uh, in a weird shape. And uh, they did report seeing on radar a small thunderstorm and brief rain and lightning coming from it. But it's just one of those weirdo storms. Just It was the only thing in the sky. More flooding as torrential rain hits the United Kingdom again. Torrential rain is causing disruption with up to a month's rain expected to fall in parts of the U United Kingdom within a day. And if you don't have enough wet already, here comes some more. Just in time to gear up for the Olympics. Uh, source of deadly Colorado wildfire was located. Uh, the cause is unknown. This is out of Denver. Investigators probing the cause of the most destructive wildfire in Colorado history have located the point of ignition, but, not ha but have not concluded how the blaze started, officials said on Thursday. Uh, since it was first reported on June 23rd, the blaze has burned more than 14,000 acres of dropped parched timber and brush, uh, mostly in the Pike National Forest, about 50 miles south of Denver metropolitan area. Uh, and they're calling it 100% contained right now. That is a big scorcher. USGS reporting an earthquake 6.3 in Vanuatu. Uh, it's a volcanic island, of course, South Pacific. Best of the web, cold comfort, ice age cometh, question mark. Unless you live in Seattle, you likely didn't know that the National Weather Service just announced that the city's endured its third coolest June in rec on record. As much of America swelters through the heat wave, it's not surprising that the unusual suspects are telling everyone that's because of global warming. Pay your carbon taxes. And uh, he's got a meteorologist, longtime friend. Um, Jack doesn't believe in global warming in the least. He does not believe in the recent atmospheric hellfire result from ozone holes or aerosol cans or giant leprechauns with big magnifying glasses. We share the same views on the topic and have discussed them often. Uh, our censored opinion is that the streak of blazing nonsense stems from the fact that, to put it in scientific terms, it's summer and the sun is hot. Uh, basically, let's get to the meat of it. Uh, meteorologist uh, Joe Bastardi took another report to task coupling that the heat wave with global warming, uh, pointing out that the U.S. is less than 10% of the globe, okay? while ignoring the fact, these, these other scientists, that Scandinavia has had its coldest June on record and then Australia is having a bad winter. So globally, not just locally, globally, 
uh, we are cooling off and Europe is paying the price for this cold wet weather. Uh, just very very strange weather things going on indeed. Drought hits 50%, 56% of continental United States. Significant toll on crops. Um, so this drought is leading to major crop loss across the United States. Uh, prolonged heat across the Midwest has not only set temperature records, it's also expanding the intensifying drought conditions, and relief isn't on the horizon for most areas. And it persists. Giant 30-meter sink, uh, Chinese sinkhole opens up on road and swallows car. Uh, they've got some pretty crazy pictures with that. Big hole in the ground. Smoke from the western wildfires reaches the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, dozens of wildfires are raging uh, around the western United States, and the large-scale burns are sending smoke as far east as Greenland, according to some atmospheric models. In all, about 60 wildfires are burning around the nation. Uh, from Alaska to Utah to Florida, and satellite images show how hazy curtains of smoke hanging over huge portions of the eastern two-thirds of the country. And uh, they're telling us on our local um, cheese news to uh, watch the west as the sun sets and we will have some beautiful red sunsets uh, due to all the smoke coming from the western United States over the Iowa sky. Underwater eruption strews ocean surfaces with dead fish. This is El Hero, um, the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa. Uh, an underwater volcano that erupted near the Canary Islands off the coast of Africa is giving scientists a closer look at how the ocean ecosystems could respond to climate change from dying fish to adapting plankton. And, uh, quote, the physical and chemical response of the system was predictable, but we never have imagined that we would reach this magnitude, uh, unquote. And they're saying they, they were expecting um, some fish diets, but not of this massiveness. And you got to remember the Canary Islands is still having earthquakes every day. Um, they're reporting the island is swelling, and uh, it could go at any time, and there are toxic gases just be re being released uh, from the ground. No fissures reported kind of thing. Mary Greeley's been following uh, El Hero very well. Even smaller volcanoes can cool Earth's climate. The University of Saskatchewan-led international research team has discovered that aerosols from relatively small volcanic eruptions can be boosted into high atmosphere by weather systems such as monsoons, uh, where they can affect global temperatures. The, re the research appears in the July 6th issue of the Journal of Science. Uh, if aerosol is the lower atmosphere, it is affected by the weather and it, participate, and it precipitates back down right away. Uh, they said, once it reaches the stratosphere, it can persist for years. And with that kind of sustained lifetime, it can really have a lasting effect. That effect is scattering incoming sunlight with potential to cool the Earth's surface. And uh, what's going on with all that radioactive MOX fuel aerosol that was detected in uh, Eastern Europe shortly after uh, the Fukushima event? Uh, there are little particles, too. Quite an interesting read. Well, let's go ahead and go over to the RSOE. Uh, of course... Uh, we're dealing with uh, the floods in India, major flooding, flash flooding in the United Kingdom, of course. Uh, they got a report of flash flooding out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Flash flooding in uh, Derbyshire, England, and uh, the weather just continues over there. And, of course, the fires coming out. Uh, state of California near Redding. Uh, big dust storm in Kuwait. Forest fire in Oklahoma and Dell City, and of course the drought conditions and all the fires, uh, on and on. Let's just go ahead and go over to the the radio act, uh, the radiation stuff. Any news? Uh, let me update this quick. See if anything news up. Fukushima plant still at very high risk. A dangerous situation because of its fragile structure. Uh, this is a quote from a commission chairman. 
Uh, you got to remember the foundation's all jacked up. That whole ground dropped, and the soil is now loose around these these reactor buildings, and they are infusing the soil with cement to kind of help stabilize these buildings a little bit as they tear down the damaged structures around um, all this radioactive fuel uh, to uh, try to get a hold of the situation. Report: Tokyo police closed down exits of subway. Protesters were shut inside underground station. Uh, the massive protests continue. Uh, the police were trying to prevent more people from hitting the streets by closing down the subway lines or the station's exits and uh, further interrupting um, everyday Japanese people's lives that didn't want to have anything to do with this um, are starting to pay attention and get closely involved because uh, now it's all around them. And uh, you cannot run away and ignore what is Fukushima. Fukushima Daiichi employee storage of nuclear workers is becoming real. Our shortage of nuclear workers is becoming real. More and more companies to close as personal dose limits are exceeded. Um, so be advised any nuclear industry uh, advertisements for jobs you may see in your local paper. Local official pharmacist says prescription drug use, high blood pressure on the rise after the Fukushima disaster. No wonder we are exposed to high level of radiation every second. And it's accumulative. It's not just a single dose. These people are saying these levels are safe. And when they say they're safe, they're safe for one time exposure. Not every second of every day. Okay, this stuff accumulates. It doesn't go away. Ask the tuna. News agency Fukushima children leave to leave Japan for recovery. Quote, an individual care program will be insured for each child. Uh, I'm sure this is way too little, way too late for most of these children. But uh, we got to do something. Fukushima Daiichi worker TEPCO is hiding information about leakage of radioactive water from the plant. Of course, uh, that goes along with this story out of the New York Times. Reports suggest extensive damage from the quake at Fukushima Daiichi. Pipes have burst, leading to loss of cooling within 30 minutes. Cast doubt on safety of Japanese entire fleet of nuclear power plants. And they are pushing, pushing, pushing to restart these. Uh, because why? It's about the money. All these power companies in Japan have well over 50% of all their equity locked up in these nuclear power plants. And if these nuclear power plants are sitting idle, it's costing them money. And uh, that's one less yacht at the, at the club. Uh, Minnesota official highly contaminated black algae observed everywhere throughout the city due to bioaccumulation. And this is that mysterious black algae that's growing all over all over everything uh, that's absorbing the strontium and the cesium and the other particles on the road and uh, it's bioaccumulating in the algae so it's very very hot so they have hot spots all over this all over the place and uh, government report Fukushima plants remains vulnerable to earthquakes and tsunamis of course they need to shut every nuclear power plant down in the world because nuclear power is a crime against humanity. Uh, Kyoto feature residents complaining of unexplained hair loss, diarrhea, fatigue around Fukushima plant. Uh, There's a quote from a retired doctor, and that's just classic signs of radiation sickness. And uh, <laughs> NRC official, 90% chance that the containment vessels used at Fukushima would burst from fuel melting down. They all three melted down way, way, way a long time ago and they didn't do jack uh, like the Russians at least attempted to. They threw uh, over half a million people at the thing and uh, 25 years later they still don't have Chernobyl lockdown. Uh, what are we going to do in 25 years when we talk about Fukushima? It is insane. It is insane uh, what the governments and the industries are doing. Uh, with this industry and uh, they're killing us. They are they are literally killing us <sighs> Mox reactor to restart this month in Japan nine fault lines run underneath it And man cannot 
Mankind cannot live in this world with nuclear energy. Uh, it's, a, it's from out of Sakamoto, and uh, I agree. I agree. It is just complete and utter madness. And Financial Time covers Japan protests. Public has shifted significantly against nuclear power and have taken to the streets. Opposition has grown considerably. Protesters from all walks of life and age groups. Why? It's because radiation doesn't give a shit how much money you have, what color you are, what god you believe in. This faces everyone. All of us. All of us. Get up and do something. Enjoy what you can.